A very good morning, you daily mob. Welcome back to your daily program, National Talk Black. It is I, Trevor Tim, Trendy Trev, Murray from the Curry, live from First Nation Radio Station here in Cairns on your dingy country, BBM 98.7 FM. And we go across the nation thanks to NERS, National Digital Radio Service. Give me a call, have you say, 1800 422 416. Now, inquest into teenager suicide reveals Kimberley child protection workers are at breaking point. I'm going to catch up a yarn now with uh, Ricky Hendon, uh, WA Public Service Union Branch uh, Secretary. On the line, Ricky, good morning, sis. How are you? Good morning, very well, thanks. Thank you very much for coming to the program. Uh, look, a very uh, sad situation, but we're talking about uh, um, uh, understaff in regard to looking after uh, our children, our vulnerable children, child protection, uh, and an inquest into the suicide of a teenager. Uh, tell us the situation there, please, sister. Well, um, in terms of the situation, what sparked this is um, there was a child um, who died in Broome in April 2017 while under the care of the Department of Communities. Um, after having had 30 caseworkers in 13 years. Uh, and what the inquest is telling us, amongst other things about that child's life, mm. uh, is that, um, you know, the resourcing of child protection in the Kimberley and, uh, you know, in my view, indeed, across the state, um, is really insufficient and, you know, needs real investment. So we're talking about increasing uh, caseloads, uh, high turnover of staff. That was all highlighted during the three-day inquest into the child's death. And so yeah. uh, under, uh, under staff, you could say, in helping the amount of children that we've got uh, in care, uh, we need more, more staff. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So, um, you know, wherever you are in, in WA, there's, we've got a series of different districts with child protection officers, and each of those officers will have a number of child protection staff and for them to do their work well and safely and sustainably, mm. they have to have a, you know, a reasonable number of cases within their caseload so that they can pay those children and families the attention that they need. Um, but what we're seeing is that those uh, caseworkers are overloaded, um, mm. that the case is very complex and they, they have too many of them, and so they get very frustrated that they can't do the work that they would want to do in those cases. Um, and, you know, they feel very, I think, um, you know, dis dis disempowered and um, mm. despondent about that. But even on top of that, again, um, you know, we know, say, in the Kimberley um, where this case occurred, um, uh, we know that there are 129 children in the Kimberley who have open cases with the department. Yes. That means that there's stuff happening in their lives that is so serious that they need an open case. Um, but they are still yet to be allocated a caseworker because there are simply not enough. And so when we're talking about staff, but we're probably also talking about uh, professional help in regard to psychologists and what have you. They've got to be front and centre as well in regard to uh, the traumas that some of these kids are going through, yes? Yeah, look, absolutely. There's, I think, you know, in terms of child protection, it's the whole uh, range of people that need to come together to mm. support um, vulnerable families and children from all different sorts of disciplines. And yes, we know that one of the key issues that, is that there are not, not enough caseworkers, but that includes other support workers as well, including um, access to, to psychological services too, absolutely. And so w with, uh, with this ha happening, uh, where do we go from here, Ricky? Who are you communicating with? Uh, what needs to happen? Uh, staffing, of course, n needs to be uh, increased big time. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the key issue for us is that there needs to be um, a revamp of the way that the Department of Communities is resourced by the state government here. It needs to look, genuinely look at what the need is uh, and fulfil that need. So we think that there needs to be um, a situation where every child is allocated a casework and that yes. the staffing formula within the department is set up to achieve that um, and that there is a real look at what the workloads currently are and what is a sustainable caseload and properly allocate the work accordingly. So that's just a recap. It's making mm. sure every case, every child has a dedicated caseworker that can support them um, and that um, people are carrying uh, an, an appropriate level of caseload that enables them to do the work in a way that genuinely supports children and families. Well, Ricky, you're talking about the numbers of 129 children in the community waiting for case workers. So if we multiply that by four, by four for staff, so to speak, uh, then we can tackle the problem. And that's not an expense, that's investment uh, of our young ones, yes? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's the way that, you know, we've got to see it. I think too often when we see, um, you know, governments of any type um, look at their budgets and the, the, the amount of spending that they have, it's seen as a cost. But actually, um, you know, this is our future. These mm, are our exactly. fa young families and children and they need to be supported. Yes. Ricky, thank you so very much. Look, a very important conversation, very space you, a very important space you're working in. A uh, big shout out to your team. Stay safe and we'll yarn soon, Ricky. Thank you for the yarn. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Adele Yan there, Ricky Hendon, uh, WA Public Service Union Branch uh, Secretary, and talking about the inquest into teenagers' suicide reveals Kimberley child protection workers at breaking point. And uh, as you mentioned, 129 children in the Kimberley waiting for case workers. Uh, we don't have enough enough staff to do so. So uh, she's calling out for uh, more money at the table, funding in regard to 129 by four uh, staff, multiplied by four staff per child, what have you. And that is uh, very important. And we have that money as a tool uh, and talking about looking after, caring for these children who, who need the support and help. Have you say, Yana Strong, add to the conversation here. National Talk Back, one 800 422 416